What's going on guys? My name is Bill. And this is Tool Tech Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, I like to bring you guys tools that I've been using in my videos or that I've been using on projects in and around my garage. Wiring. If there's one thing that I think we can all agree on is our distaste for wiring. <laughs> I mean, I work in electronics and I hate messing with wiring. Um, but when it comes to hot rodding, it's kind of unavoidable. You know, whether, it, whether you're doing an LS swap and you want to reuse an old LS harness. Maybe you're wanting to reuse an existing harness in, in your in your vehicle, in your project, and you're wanting to maybe add a circuit. Maybe you want to repurpose a connector. Whatever it might be. Maybe you're building a custom dash like I did in the D100 project. Whatever the case may be, eventually you're going to have to do wiring. So let's say, you know, you're building a custom dash, gauge cluster, whatever. And you get your everything drawn out, get all your wires installed, get everything cut the length right where you want it. When it comes time to start, you know, building your connector. You start, you put all your all your uh, pins or pins on there. Start populating your connector, and you realize you put a wire in the wrong spot. What do you do? You don't want to go and cut the wire off because it's already cut the length. And you don't want to junk a connector. These things can get, can get expensive. It's where you need the right removal tool. Now, like I said, you need to know the connector that you're using, whether it be a Deutsch connector, a Molex, Weatherpack, Delphi, whatever it might be, you need to, you need to know that ahead of time because you need the right extraction tool. For a weather pack, it's simple. You get one like this, where it's just got an open tube, basically. And that's designed to slide in over the front, over that pin, gets inserted in there, and you can easily get it in there. Remove that pin. Now, what that's doing, see if I can get, it, get you a close up here. What that's doing is on this connector, hopefully you can see it, there are little little barbs on this connector. And that's what locks the pin into the connector. So what's happening is this extraction tool is going over that pin and it's going back to the point where it then goes over those barbs and it depresses them. And then you can pull the connector or pull the pin out of the connector. Um, here, let me show you. Hear that click, it's locked in place. That's locked in there. Again, get your extraction tool, goes in there, comes right out. Now again, to reiterate, this is important. You need to know the connector you're working with. Maybe you're working with a connector like this, like an old school connector, where the locking pin is actually on the side. So you need a tool like this, which just comes in right from the side, pushes that lock in, and now that pin can come out. Um, some connectors, you can't unlock from the front. You have to unlock from the back. That's where you need a connector or a tool like this that has, see if I can set this up there. I don't know how well it's gonna show up. It's got this groove in it. And what that does, now it's not gonna work for this connector, but you know, if you had to come at it from the back, that groove, allows you to drop that down on the wire and now you can slide that into the back that would unlock that type of connector you know again got another old school one like this with that little locking barb right there on top and that's where something like this would come in it just comes in depresses that barb that's basically the concept for any connector. It just depends on the type of connector. I'll leave some links down below to all kinds of different kits that have, you know, weather pack connectors, Delphi removal tools, Molex, all different types. I'll leave some links down below. Don't be afraid of wiring, guys. You can really change the look, or really improve the look of your vehicle, or your project, by having some really clean wiring. Yeah, it's no fun and it's not, not the glamorous part of the job, but 
It can really improve the looks and it makes it more reliable instead of you just splicing into a wire, one of those stupid crimp on splices that tear your wiring up and that fall apart. You're gonna burn down your rig using those things. Do it right, use connectors, wire your rig the right way the first time and it'll provide you with reliable service for the lifetime that you own it and, and, and beyond. Appreciate you for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, get back to work.